Welcome everyone to Finding Life. My name is Jeff and we're here to help you find life, enjoy life, and win in life. Here we are in episode number 72 and I'm titling it, Go Get It. Go Get It. Deuteronomy 8 to 18 says this, And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. So, I think we've talked about this before. Deuteronomy 8.18, he says, I've given you the power to get wealth. The word power can be translated and, and also translated power, ability, and anointing. The word get can also be translated um, get, obtain, and make. So he says, listen, I've given you the power, <clears throat> excuse me, the ability and the anointing to get, to obtain, and to make wealth. So let's go get it. Let's go get it. So, so how? How? What are some more of these hows? Proverbs chapter 22. Proverbs chapter 22. What are some more of these hows to enjoy our wealthy place, our, our hows to enjoy our place of rich fulfillment? Proverbs 22 and verse 29 says this. Do you see a man who excels in his work? He will stand before kings, and he will not stand before unknown men. So, go get it. Go get it. What do I mean? What are we talking about here? We're talking about excelling in your work. Excelling in your work. So here's another key. Here's another how. Excel at your work. Excel at your work. Okay, what, what, what does that mean? The word excel in the Hebrew can be translated this. Diligent, flows easy, quick, and swift. So, diligence is an action word. It means incisive, it means decisive, so uh, it's it's an action word. It's 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 not just it's not just it's not lifeless. It's an action word. It's doing something, doing something. It's not just thinking about the decision that needs to be made. It is making the decision. It's being decisive. It it's it's doing something diligent excelling in your work in other words doing your work not just having good ideas and good thoughts and you know, just planning and planning no, no no diligence is about doing 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 excelling doing excel in your work D be diligent and flows easy it flows easy a person who excels in the work is where their work is easy there's a there's a flow it flows easy now the work might not be easy. It might create it might it might require a lot of effort and it might require a lot of time, but but it's easy. See if it, why? Because hmm, there's a gift, there's a grace, and we'll talk about that um, in our next episode, but but see to excel in your work is that it flows easy. You can be doing some stuff where there's just not a flow. You can be doing some stuff that's just a struggle. It's just it's just a struggle. It's it's heavy, it's hard, it's but to excel in your work, it talks about flowing easy. It flows easy. That's the only way you can excel in your work is when it flows easy. When you're diligent, it flows easy. And it's quick and swift. Quick and swift. Quick and swift. So part of flowing easy and part of being quick and swift is the idea of knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Continuing to excel and increase in our skill set, in our ability. So doing something long enough, all of a sudden you, call, you become better. Better. It becomes easier easier. It may not have started easy, but, but it can become easier and it, you can become quicker and swifter. Why? Because you know what you're doing. You're getting better at something. Your skill set is excelling. Your, your skill set is, is you're, you're, you're developing your ability, your ability. All right. So, Excelling in your work. Now, what is the work? The word work tra trans can be translated ministry. It can be translated employment, and it can be translated business. So once again, it's not just, it's not just a job. Ministry, employment, and business. 
So you can be a business owner or you can be an employee, but really at the same time, no matter what it is, ministry, employment, and business, it's our work and we ought to excel at it. So business, there's, there's three things about business. It's family business, ministry business, where we serve and add value to others, and kingdom business, where we represent our king and God's right way of doing things in his kingdom. And if you want to find out more about the family ministry and kingdom business, uh, go see episode number 10, and I get into more details about that there. So once again, doors open and fair flows to those who serve and add value to others on a higher level. God bless. We'll see you next time.